The last thing I want to say about sharing files and sharing your work is, of course, that sometimes things go wrong. Sometimes you put stuff in, you accidentally delete something, or formulas get mixed up some way along, and there are problems. And you may want to be able to back up the work that you did. Fortunately, this is really, really simple in Google Sheets because it has a built in version history. To get to this, all you need to do is come to File and down to Version History. Now, one of the interesting things is that you have an option of naming the current version. You can say Draft 1, Draft 2, or Clients Review, or whatever. But let's come here and see the version history. When I click on that, it's going to show me all the different changes that have been made. Now, these ones, I mean, if you click open on them, you're going to see a lot more things. And two things you have the option of saying, show me only the named version. So I have draft one and the final version, which are my named ones. And then you also have the option of saying, show the changes. So if I unclick that, it simply shows you the plain document. If you click show changes, it lets you know that all of this got added and it got added by this person in this color, the teal, Barton Polson founder. Or if we back up a little more, you can see draft one, and you can see, for instance, that there is information that got added. I think here in notes, you see the number of tabs changes and that this is all new for this one. And so this is an option to hit restore this version, go back in time to the one you had before things got out of hand, you can recover from any mistake in Google Sheets, you can also create these different versions that allow you to have a sort of version control. So you don't have to be a fancy person using GitHub or subversion or something like that. You can use the built in version history in Google Sheets to keep track of your work to recover from errors and see who's contributed what it's a great way of getting accountability and getting recoverability.